you kind of pause there. Don't drink and drive drunk. Don't drink and drive drunk. There you go. Nice. Nice. Well, maybe you can just try to be aware of the fact that sometimes you put in the uh vowel sound when you speak in certain words. And in North American English, we don't do that. It's like you're adding a an extra syllable with that vowel sound that's that we don't use. So it may be difficult, I don't know, but try to be aware of yourself and see if you can catch yourself doing that in the future. And I'll keep an eye on it too. Okay, who else wants to try that? Olga. Okay, Olga, you're next. Go ahead, Olga. Don't make Sorry. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah, that's good. Try to make it a little more quicker, more natural sounding. Don't drink and drive drunk. Don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Don't drink and drive drunk. It's like you're really telling somebody, you know. <laughs> Don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah, excellent. Okay, Laura, you want to try? Yes, I have problems pronouncing these words. Okay. Don't, don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah, your dr is not very strong. It's, uh, it's, it needs to come out a lot more. Okay. Try that again. Hit the dir. First of all, can you just say dir, dir, dir? Dir. Dir. Yeah, that sounds good. So say drink. 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 Okay, drive. Drive. Hmm, I wonder what's happening here. It's just sounding your D. I'm not hearing your D so much. That's interesting. Can you go like da, 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 da? The D sound, da, da. Da, da. da. Okay, can you hit it? Let's see. Drive. Da, da, da. Hit it sharp and da. hard. Da, da, da. da. Okay, that's pretty good. Da. Now go, now mix it with the R sound. Dur, dur, dur. Dur, dur, dur. Okay, let, if you can see the video, <laughs> my tongue, like when I'm doing the dur, it's exploding. So it's like, it's a releasing. It's going dur, dur, dur. It's touching my alveolar ridge, and then it releases in a big explosion of da, you know, so da, 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 da. yeah, and then it, blending it, it's da. dur, 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 da, da, da. Okay, better, better, better. Now say drink. Drink. Okay, good. Drunk. Drunk. Okay, keep, keep concentrating your mind on that D sound. Now let's try to say the phrase, uh, don't drink and drive drunk. Don't drink and drive drunk. Oh, wow, it's interesting, very interesting. Yeah, you're losing the D sound, so this is something you need to work on. Um, yes, I, I told you the, the problem that I had with those words. Oh, you were the one who submitted these? Yes, I cannot pronounce those words at all. Yeah. Well, in a strange way, I'm glad to hear that because you were doing so well. I'm thinking maybe she doesn't need much help, but yeah, you do need some help with this. That's for sure. <laughs> what, what I couldn't pronounce those words at all. I mean, when I talk to people and they had no ideas what I'm talking about with a D D R. Yeah. Well, what's happening is you're losing the D sound when you get into the phrases, when you get into just speaking. You know, I think if you really focus on the D, you can make the D sound, but when you start getting into words and phrases, your mouth is dropping it, and your tongue is not hitting your alveolar ridge hard and then releasing hard. You're, it's like your tongue is going flat, you know, it's, I, I can't say D, you know, it's, it's just, it's not going up there to go da, 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 and that's what we need to bring in. Um, yeah. so we probably need, need to take it a step back with you and say, you know, just let's try the words and focus on the words for right now and say, say drive, try that. Drive. Okay. Drive. 
Okay, that's good. See, you're getting it in the word right now. Now let's try drunk. Drunk. Not bad. Very nice. Drink. Drink. Try it again. Drink. Drink. Yes. Okay. And what you need to do is when you're saying these words and you're getting the sound right, you need to, you know, tell your mind, hey, let's notice that. What is my tongue doing? You know, what is my mouth doing? Be aware of that and hit them. Yeah. You know, repeat them. Dry. Yeah. Dry. You got to get your mind and your mouth used to this. And your mind and your mouth has been rejecting this for years. You know, and it's saying, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And you have to tell your mind, hey, we're making a change here and you need to learn this. So really picture it. Visualize like your tongue really big and it's touching your, the roof of your mouth. And just imagine this huge tongue going up and touching it and then exploding going drink. Duh, duh, duh. Drink. Yeah. Drunk. Drunk. So try this phrase, drink and drive. Drink and drive. Okay, that's better than you were doing before when you had a phrase. Um, you know, uh, one, of, one of these days we're going to have to get like uh, hooked up with a few people with video so I can actually see your mouth. I wish I could see you right now, but um, let's try this phrase. Drunk. Drive drunk. Just say those two words right after each other. Drive drunk. Drive. I'm sorry, one more time. Drive drunk. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, your first drive was better. It was a stronger D. Your second D was a little softer. Drive drunk. Hit them hard each time. Drive drunk. Okay, yeah, better. Drive now, drunk. Now let's take your time and say the whole phrase, but don't say it so fast. So don't drink and drive drunk. Don't drink and drive drunk. Okay, so now, you know, with that phrase, people would know what you're saying. You know, so you're, you've made some progress at this moment doing this. The job is for you to remember what you're doing right now, so when you practice tomorrow, you can repeat it the way you're doing. And it'll take some time, because this is a habit you've had for a long time. And the brain does not want to change habits. But you can change habits. It just takes some repetition, reminding your brain, and uh, going over this. Okay, So this is something you need to work on every day. You don't need to spend, I'm not saying you spend an hour on it. It's better if you spend like just a few minutes on it several times throughout the day. And then your brain will slowly begin to accept it. Okay? Okay. Can okay. I try one more time? Sure, go for it. Don't drink and don't drink and drive drunk. Right. And what may be happening with your tongue is your tongue may be curled and hitting your hard palate but too far back. And you need to bring it to the alveolar ridge, which is the front part of your hard palate that is bumpy. You know, when you feel that part in the front, it's bumpy. That's where your tongue needs to go to that bumpy part. That's the alveolar ridge. And you go, if we go back to here, gunk, gunk, gunk. It sounds, it sounds wrong. It's like gunk, gunk. But if I move my tongue to the front of my hard palate, drunk, drunk. Ah, there's that nice D sound. Drunk. Yeah. Dry. Okay. Okay, so work, work on that. Who else wants to try this phrase? Lucy? Lucy, go ahead, Lucy. Don't, 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 don't drink and drive drunk. Okay, you're hitting, your, it's just, your, your D is fine, it's just your R's. You know, it's, they're just rolling a little bit there, and we need to clean them up. Don't drink and drive drunk. Very clean, hard R. Don't, don't drink and drive drunk. You're going like drink, 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 drink. 
drink. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Very nice. Don't dr drink, drink, and drive drunk. Okay, that's a little better. It's rolling a little bit, but it's it's better. It's good. It's good. I mean, it, and like I've said with other people, if you do roll your R, it's not going to kill you. You know what I mean? People will understand you, and you know, a lot of. I mean, it sounds kind of nice. It sounds exotic. So I'm, you know, I'm just pushing you to kind of get that, uh, you know, the North American dialect sound a little bit. But, uh, you know, if you want to go for it, go for it. Um, if not, people will still understand you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dave? Yes. Would you mind to make the video for the uh, DR word so I can <laughs> see your, your, your mouth and your... The jar when you pronounce the dr word. Yeah, well, can you see my mouth right now? I I don't see your video. Oh, you're not getting the video. Oh, that's right. You no, said I you don't. had some video problems. Okay. Well, well, two two things I can say. One is, well, yes, maybe. I just don't know exactly when um, to do that, but it might be a great video to make. Um, and two is, hopefully, I'll be able to post this video. Um, onto YouTube and we'll post it in the next week's lesson so you can watch this part of the video. So, okay. Yeah, so you might be able to see that there too. But keep talking to me about this sound because I'll, I'll keep trying to help you with it, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, okay. does anyone else want to try this before we move on? Well, say hey. <laughs> uh, Nina, you say like hey. to try? Okay. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Huh? <clears throat> <laughs> don't drink and drive drunk. Don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sound again. Try it again. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't drink and drive drunk. What is wrong? Let me know. No, 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 no. It, it's sounding good. I'm just, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's intonation patterns is just a little different. So pretend you're talking to somebody and you're telling them, don't drink and drive drunk. Uh, you know, try to say it like don't you're really talking. Okay, nice. Say it again. Don't drink and drive drunk. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, drunk. Drunk. Make sure, I, I don't know if it's the Skype or it's your voice, but it's a unk, unk, drunk. Uh -huh. Don't drink and drive yeah, that's right. Don't think I am drunk. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, very good. Drunk. Yeah, your drunk is good now. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Who else was asking? We had. Uh, I'm trying to look at the list. We had 24. We did, and then we have number four which is the er sound, yes, and that was, um, Oksana was asking about that. Okay, so look at number four on the list here, and uh, we have a number of words here that have variations of the er sound. Some are like the r, like that becomes at the beginning of the word, like red, red, and then we have like in the syllable, I mean, in the middle of the word, like earn, like turn and learn. Oh, I have those twice. Okay. So it's, you know, it's, it's this, you know, very frustrating sound for a lot of people. Er, turn and learn. Does someone want to try those two words? Can I try? I'm Kate. Uh, Kate, yeah, go ahead. Turn, learn. Very good. And let's make a phrase. Um, why don't you learn how to turn? Why do you learn how to turn? Here, I'll, I'll try to write it here. Okay. Why don't you learn how to turn? Try that, kid. What? Why do you learn? 
how to turn. Yeah, good. Now you can make the sound a little shorter because you're making the sound correctly. Try to make it sound a little more natural now. Try it like this. Why don't you learn how to turn? Why do you learn how to turn? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, uh, Bahavna, you want to try? Yeah. Uh, why don't you learn how to turn? Learn how to turn. Okay. Yeah. Now, one thing that comes from the, like, India and that area is the tongue is usually too far back. So it's sounding like, why don't you learn how to turn? You know, that my tongue is back kind of in the middle of my hard palate. And it should be brought forward more up to the alveolar ridge. So actually learn, when I say learn, it's right behind my teeth. Learn. Why don't you learn how to turn? My tongue is forward, hitting the hard palate. Learn. Yeah. Nice. Why, why don't you learn? Okay, now don't. When you, when you say don't, your tongue is too far back like this. You're saying don't. Um, why don't? I know it's comfortable because that's what's comfortable coming from your language. But push... Bring that tongue forward. Don't. Hard palate, alveolar ridge, that, that, that. Don't. 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 Yeah, that's don't. better. Don't. Don't. Okay. Try it again. Why don't, Go ahead. Why don't you learn how to turn? Turn. Okay, yeah. Your, your er sound is, is very nice. So not, not a problem for me. Um, it's the other sounds that I'm hearing, like uh, when you said how to turn. It's saying like how to turn, how to turn. Mm, your tongue's oh. still back on those, like how t -t 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 to how turn. How to turn. Yeah, so say how to turn. Just say that phrase, how to turn. How to turn. Okay. How to turn. Yeah, when you're saying the word to, T-O, your tongue is going back. It's sounding like how to turn. You know. How to turn. Yeah, to, to. Say the word to. To, to. Okay, that's good. To. That's good. Notice where your tongue is in your mouth when you're saying that. To, to, to. 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 Yeah, it's nice. It's to. sounding nice and forward. Very good. Now let's try the phrase how to turn. How to turn. Much better. Wow. Thank you. Much better. Like I've been telling the other folks, uh, notice where you're, t be aware of it in your mind. Make it huge. Pretend it's a big cartoon tongue and notice where it's hitting in your mouth. And then your brain will start to remember this stuff. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Who else wants I'm to try? Good. Olga. Olga, go for it. Why don't you learn how to turn? Yeah, everything's good. How to turn. Yeah, we just got to sharpen that R a little bit more. You know, it's learn. Er, er, er. It's, you know, look at my mouth. It's flat and er, er, er. Learn. Learn. Yeah, learn. Why don't you learn? That's a little better. That's a little better. Mm -hmm. so, learn how to turn. How to turn. Because you're going to Like, look, if you can see me in the video right now, you're going like ta. You're, you're opening your mouth when you should be keeping it flat. That's why you're getting that turn. Because you're going open and then flat. And I want you to keep it flat. Turn. 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 Like you're smiling Turn. with your teeth, teeth clenched. Turn. 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 How about lips? Also get close. It's well, yeah. you, you can push them forward like I'm doing. Turn. 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 That may help Turn. you. Turn. You could Turn. do this. You can make them tighter. Like turn. 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 You're going turn, 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 tur
turn. And I'm going turn. I'm really hitting that er, and I'm stretching that er sound. Er, turn. 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 You're you're just coloring it. You're, you're, you're getting closer, Olga, that's for sure, but you're still coloring it. It's either the shape, either your mouth is opening or something is going on with the middle or back portion of your tongue that is coloring the sound in a different way. Turn. Turn. Are you, are you keeping your mouth flat? Turn, turn. I'm trying to flat. <laughs> I, I don't have mirror here. Yeah. See my oh, that's right. Um, I try it, to close my teeth and put my lips. Cool. Yeah. Turn. Okay, you're getting closer. You're getting closer. You probably need to practice with the mirror so you can, you know, see. You can see, you know, what's going on with your mouth and things like that. <laughs> Okay, um, how about Lara? Did you want to try this? Sure. Why, why don't you learn how to turn? Uh, try it again. Why don't you learn how to turn? Okay, turn. Now, you're, especially this, the, the word turn, you're, there's a different color in there. There's a different sound going on. Turn. So it's, it's kind of like I was saying to Olga, but it's a little different. It sounds like you're opening your mouth too much on the er sound. And um. like, like I was saying with Olga, just try to keep your mouth close together, er, 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 and try to get that sound going, er, er. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, slowly think about it as you're doing it. Hit that. Just say the word turn. 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 Okay, that's better. Turn. Now try saying the phrase. Why don't you try to learn how to turn? Wow, it's interesting because you learn sounded pretty good, very good. But you're, when you say turn, it trips something in your mouth and you're adding a sound. Say turn. 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 It's almost like you're opening it up to turn, turn. And I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it, you got to be opening your mouth for that sound to be happening. Um, I need to open my mouth, or do I have it closed? Well, you should have it pretty flat, pretty closed, and it's like you're smiling. The back of your tongue is touching your upper back teeth, and you're going turn, and your tip of the tongue is curling a little bit. Turn. 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 Try. Let's try the rhyming. Say learn and then turn. Learn. Turn. Learn. Turn. Okay, it's sounding a little more flat. Sounding a little more flat. Try the phrase again. Why don't you learn how to turn? Why don't you learn how to turn? Oh, it's interesting. Because your learn is sounding good, but your turn is, is better than it was before, so that's nice. We're getting some improvement here, but it's still, it's still opening up too much. So uh, write, make sure you write that word down and you remind me about that so that we can go over that in the future. And um, when you come back and look at the video, you can see what my face is doing. Okay? Okay. Okay, Joanne, do you want to try that? Okay. Why don't you learn how to turn? Ah, interesting. Your your er sound is very nice. Um, why don't you learn how to turn? It's sounding like that. Why don't you learn how to turn? And so 
This is a tongue thing, Joanne. The tip of your tongue needs to be pointed and hitting your alveolar ridge because you're, what's happening right now when you're doing it, your tongue is kind of, the tip of your tongue is kind of flat against your alveolar ridge and it's sounding like, um, why don't you learn how to turn? It's a da, da, da. And if it's pointed like this, it'll be more like ta, ta, ta. And that's what we need out of you, is more of an exploding, sharp ta, 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 ta. Why don't you learn how to turn? Try that. Why don't you learn how to turn? Okay, let's try the word turn. Just ta, ta, ta. Turn. 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 Okay, a little better. Say learn. 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 Can you stretch your R sound learn. a little longer so it's like learn? Learn. Okay. And then try turn. Okay. Lucy, Lucy, we're hearing your voice. Hold on a second. <laughs> or, or pull the microphone away. Um, Okay, try it again, Joanne. Turn. Turn. Uh, Lucy, we're hearing you. Lucy. Shh. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, Joanne, one more time. Turn. 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 It's interesting. Um, okay, so your T is sounding good. And now what I'm hearing in your ER sound is... you. Uh, it's like a higher pitch that you're making. You're like tin, tin, and it's more of a lower. There's a more of a y, tr, er, er. It's a lower sound. Turn. You hear that in my voice? Turn. Turn. Er, turn. Turn. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now say the whole phrase. Take your time with it and say the whole phrase. Why don't you learn how to turn? Turn, turn. Remember, keep that t -t 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 turn. Turn. Why don't we don't want to sound like? Turn. Why don't you learn how to turn? It's why don't you la? Look at my mouth when I say l. Learn. It's going la, la. Learn. Learn how Why to. Don't you go learn ahead. how to turn. That's better. Better. Mm -hmm. You are shaping your mouth differently. So that's nice. Try to remember this, okay, so that we can build on this and get your pronunciation better. Okay, let's see. Did anyone else want to try this? Mira. Mira, yeah. Mira. Okay, we'll do Mira then Lucy. Okay, go for it, Mira. Why don't you learn how to turn? Okay. Why don't you learn how to turn? Yeah, I think that's similar to what Olga was doing, um, or actually more than just Olga, a few of us are having this problem. We just need to flatten that er sound. Uh, it, it, you're, er, you're, it's it's turn. opening too much. It's it's learn and turn. It's Lear, flat. Learn, turn. Yeah. Why why don't you learn? How to turn. It's sounding turn. like you're saying like learn, learn. Yeah. And it's not learn. Yeah. You're putting in like kind of an O vowel in learn. there. It's er, learn. My mouth is er. flat. Er, er, er. Learn. Er. How to learn. turn. Well, now I'm doing it. Phil. Er. <laughs> turn. Turn. You're going like torn, torn. like I'm exaggerating. You're not doing it this bad, but it's sounding like torn, and it's not torn. Okay. It's turn. It's an er sound. Okay, learn turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Why don't Why don't you learn how to turn? Okay, better, better. Turn. Not completely there. We just need to flatten it out. But that was much better. Okay, um, Lucy, okay. why don't we try Lucy? Why don't you learn how to turn? Yeah, wow. It's amazing. We're, 
different languages, different countries, and uh, most of us are having a problem with this. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, we need to flatten your R out too, er, 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 because I'm hearing learn, learn, and it's learn. Learn. Yeah, no, it's it's got to be flat. You got to keep your mouth closed learn. more. Learn. Learn. Try to learn, learn. Lucy. Learn. 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 See, I'm hearing your mouth open up. Learn. Learn. And I don't want you to drop your jaw. Keep your jaw almost closed. Learn. My jaw is very close to my teeth. I mean, my lower teeth, are, you know. Learn. <laughs> I know it looks funny. Learn. You're going, learn. Learn. Don't open your mouth. Keep your mouth almost closed. Learn. Learn. Mm. Learn. How about turn? Turn. Turn. Turn's turn. better. Turn's better. When you, go, when you say learn, uh, you're bringing in a vowel sound. That's, uh, that's not there. Because you're going to learn. And it's learn. Yeah. It's really quick. Learn. Learn. Okay, it's a little learn. better. It's a little better. Yeah. We just need to flatten, flatten it out. Okay. Um, uh, anyone else want to try this? Okay. Okay, so was this the last one? Let's see, we had, yeah, number four. I think that's all of the requested ones. And I'm noticing it's, uh, it's been about two and a half hours since we've been on. So if you like, if you still have some energy, um, I know this can be a little tedious and uh, people maybe want to say goodbye, but uh, if there's anything you would like to uh, discuss besides pronunciation um, before we say goodbye, uh, um, we could talk about one or two things uh, in a few minutes uh, before we say goodbye. So. Any topics or ideas, uh, anything you'd like to talk about, I can just kind of open it up. So, you know, go ahead, speak to me if you want to talk about something. Everybody's quiet. <laughs> hey, Dave. Yes, Nina. Hey, Nina, Nina, Nina. Um, you know, I made with this session. Um, and uh, love it very much, and absolutely um, just consider it fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the way you said that word. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nina, very, very much. I, I appreciate that, and um, I, I... I hope that classes will last, and... Uh, be the last one, but I hope that these classes will last. Will they just promise us that you will continue working with us? Yeah, well, yes, I will. And um, as you know, the, this class is in development, and it's in a beginning stage, in an alpha stage. And I'm, my goal is to create, you know, develop the class and work out the problem so it's a better class. But these live sessions are very good, and you know what I'd like to do is have more live sessions and, and perhaps break it up into more specific groups. So people who have problems in certain areas will join at this time, and other people who have different problems will join perhaps at a different time, so that we can be a little more focused on these live sessions. These are the ideas that I have. Will that take a lot of your personal time? Oh, yes. It takes just about all of my personal time. <laughs> but I'm, I'm developing something now, and this is something I have a passion for and I'm very interested in and something I think has the potential to be a very good thing for a lot of people all over the world. So the more interest I get from people and the more support I get from people, um, the more I can put into this. You know, and if you click if you click my ads on the, my YouTube videos, 
that helps me too because I actually get paid for those ads. So if you click on them, that helps me a lot because then I can have some, some income for doing this. Right now I'm doing it all for free. And um, I, you know, I can't do that forever, but um, we'll see how it works out. Dave, I really, I really appreciate your time and your effort uh, in helping us. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate you saying that, and uh, it's people like you and Nina, and you know other people who are supportive that you know keeps me going and doing this. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, today it was a great ses session, great lesson. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Mira. It's great to have you back. Uh, we have a few people back from the first run, and uh, Mira was part of that, and Lucy, and Olga, and Nina. So it's great to have uh, you guys back here. Thank you. Hi. Dave? Yes, Kate. Hi. I just uh, I think you are very good teachers. So I just uh, know you from internet. I think you can help us enhance uh, our pronunciation. But uh, you know I have some uh, problem with uh, rhythm. Right. Because uh, other said I have a chopping words. Right. Right. So, you know, like. First of all, it's, it's really great that you're aware of this and you're aware of the problems because if the students don't know what they're aware of, they don't know where to start. So what, what you can do with me, Kate, is, you know, like I've told some other students, you know, remind me of this. Um, send, me, send me a message through the system, the English meeting, you know, website, the school website, and send me some messages. And so what I can start doing is perhaps like putting together a session, a shorter session, where we just focus on rhythm. And people who want to focus on rhythm can join that group. And, you know, and we'll do, you know, some live work with that and we'll record the video and we can focus on rhythm. Uh, and, yeah. you know, and I think that would be good for you. And like, um, we have, uh, well, Lars from Vietnam, uh, the, the other gentleman who dropped off, um, like he would really benefit from rhythm because he is very staccato, and I think even Joanne, like uh, the, the from the Philippines, like the Tagalog is more of a choppy kind of up and down language, and uh, Joanne would probably benefit from that uh, too. So I think that's a great idea, and if I get a lot of suggestions for something, I can create a live session for it. So um, please, you know, keep in contact with me about it and remind me about it. Yeah, that's a good uh, idea because you want to divide the people into different groups. Right. So maybe we can focus on our own problem to solve them. That's right. That's so right. because this is a very big, big group today, so many people in the practice, but uh, I think uh, some people, they only have some problem with some songs, not right. all the songs. That's right. So they have to listen, we have to listen and wait. So that's a, that's a good idea to separate into the small group. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So can, can you give us some homework <laughs> and uh, to how to just, uh, you know, enhance the rhythm, the sense of uh, English? You know, that. Uh, some uh, English teacher told me English like a song and uh, like music. And uh, oh, you have said it in your website. Right. Yeah. yeah but but you no, know, that rhythm. I think uh, every language have their uh, their rhythm. Have like the music, uh, but they different the uh, rhythm. So how can I change from maybe Chinese rhythm to this uh, English rhythm? It's very hard sometimes. Um, when you just speak, I just uh, imitate uh, you. I can, I can sense, feel that rhythm. Then maybe it will just forget it. I go back to go back to my uh, Chinese rhythm. Right, absolutely, and that's the natural way things work with the human mind and body and all of that. Is that's what your mind is comfortable with, and therefore that's why you go back to that. It's 
I can say a few things about it uh, quickly and then we can get into this deeper at another time. But the adult human mind does not like to change. And it's like a stubborn, stubborn person who's saying, no, I don't want to change. And we have to get your mind comfortable with some change, changing a habit. So w w one of the things that I recommend is you you look at yourself, and I wrote this, if you look at the topics for discussion right underneath the pronunciation part, it's in like a dark red, and if you look at number two, there's, it says rhythm and stress. Yeah. Okay, who's dialing there? <laughs> Somebody's hitting their uh, dial pad. Okay, if you look at number two, it says rhythm and stress and how to develop. And then I wrote, observe and imitate. It's very important to observe. <laughs> and you got to, I mean, this is what I recommend. I'm not saying you have to do this, but I recommend you look at yourself as an actor developing a role. And if you picture yourself like, oh, you're developing a role of playing, I don't know, an American in a movie. And you have to imitate and learn how these certain Americans talk. So, first of all, you should, you should be like, for instance, watch a part of a movie. I'm not saying watch a whole movie, because then you're going to get wrapped up into the whole storyline. But like on your DVD player or something, just take like, I don't know, 20 seconds of a movie where somebody is talking. Hopefully it's a movie that you like and it's a character you like. And you observe their rhythm and intonation and you play it back a few times, like maybe four or five times. And you just really watch their rhythm and intonation. And then you play it and you try to speak the same lines along with them. You know, like you're singing together, but you're speaking together. And you try okay. to match that rhythm. So it's like, it's like, you know, you're learning some music and you're just taking a few, you know, a few, uh, a few bars of that uh, music. You're not playing the whole song. And you try to imitate it. And if you're around, like you're living in Canada, you know, you can observe a lot of people. And if you have the chance just to take a moment to observe other people and how they're saying things in your mind's eye because like if you're having a conversation with somebody you have to be part of the conversation but in the back of your mind you can also be observing that intonation and then perhaps later that night when you go home you can try to imitate that person maybe a few phrases you remember that person was saying whatever you do in your life. I don't know if you're working or in school or whatever you do with your life. You know, talking to the person when you're ordering coffee, it doesn't matter. When you go home at night, try to remember some of those phrases and try to copy that intonation pattern. At first it's difficult, but it'll get easier and easier and easier. And you make it fun. You make it fun by taking a clip from a movie that you enjoy and you try to imitate this actress or that actress, okay? And it's about practice, and then you come to somebody like me, or perhaps, the thing is, sometimes people will just go to native speakers and say, am I doing this right? But the native speakers maybe are not coached into telling you what's wrong or what's right. You know, they may just say, no, it's wrong. But they don't know how to tell you what is wrong. So if Yeah, you, that's it. Right. Yeah, you said, yes. You know that they are not a teacher. Right. So, yeah, so not like you. You can correct the us, but they cannot. They can only tell you um, it, what is wrong, what is right, but they cannot know how to correct that. So yes, that's I right. think, the, yeah, so I can just get feedback from native speakers, from my coworkers. But, uh, but for my environment, most of the time I I talk to this Mandarin because my coworkers are uh, Mandarin speakers most of the time. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, we have this uh, native speaker, 
but uh, native speaker is uh, normally they deal with the clients. Uh, I'm technical person, so I deal with the computer. Right. <laughs> and uh, some this, uh, yeah. So sometimes if I just uh, have some problem, if I have some question, I will ask them to help me. But the most time, I not have more chances to practice my English. Ah, I see. But uh, but sometimes I can talk to my landlord and some people in the building because uh, they're very nice. I told them I want to practice my English and enhance my pronunciation. They will help me. But uh, it's not a talk uh, every day for eight hours. Most time I will just uh, work uh, on the computer. Right, I understand. I mean, what would be really good for you is to have a language exchange like through Skype um, and this this is an idea I've had for a long time where like if I could help to match people like you up with a native speaker and maybe it's like an American or a Canadian who just has an interest in China so they can ask you a lot of questions about China and you can talk to them in English and get more and more practice speaking with a native speaker yeah, that's well helpful. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it it's like any country in the world. There are people like in America, Canada, uh, England, Australia who are very interested in countries like Vietnam and China and Russia and, you know, Ukraine and uh, you know, France or whatever. You know, I mean, you know, they don't know about these countries and they'd like to learn about them and they'd like to have a perhaps a friend from that country and that you can help them and they can help you and I, I if 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 all of you are interested in doing something like that um, I, I would be very interested in developing it and making it part of the school so that you know you can you know maybe a few times a week uh, you know maybe it's a short time 15 minutes or a half an hour but uh, that little practice can make a big difference in your life I like it Dave Really? Okay. Well, if if you like it, send me messages about it. You know, I'm, I I I want to do it, but I need uh, to, you know to know that at least I have a good group of people who are interested in doing something like that, and I can help you develop something like that. And if we can do it together, I get some help from you, then I can make it happen, and uh, it can be a great great thing because n with technology with Skype, Skype works so well and it's free, you know, we can use these tools and you can develop your language skills so much faster, you know, and it's, it's like, why not? And uh, anyway, yeah, could be a very good thing. The more we have chance to talk, the, the better that we can correct them. That's yeah, right. I agree. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And like, you know, like I've I've talked to all of you tonight, and you know, all, you know, everybody has a little different thing going on. But I'm thinking to myself as I'm talking to you and trying to help, I'm thinking, wow, we could probably fix this pretty quick, you know. And the problem a lot of people have is, you know, if they don't have a chance to speak English, you know, with native speakers, you know, and and they're working or whatever, their time is pretty used up. There's no opportunity, but if they can get on Skype and we can kind of get these uh, lined up and get some people together, you know, we could just make it much easier for you to, to do that. And uh, if you can help me a little bit with it, um, I'll help you and uh, we can make it happen. So send me messages about it and we will make it happen, okay? Where do yeah, you want... And a message? Well, it, through the school website is the best, you know, the English okay. meeting we, website, because then I'm focused on there and I can get back to you or I could send a group message to a few students at a time. It, j it makes it easier for me if you send the message through there. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Um, well, there's a lot of uh, uh, Nina's writing some stuff. So useful, valuable tips. Thanks. Oh, Skype is a good tool. Yeah. Yeah, Japanese use this a lot. Yeah, you're right, Nina. The Japanese use this a lot to learn English. Um, my Skype English exists for them. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, that's great. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, that's good to hear. So we, we can do it um, ourselves and do it in a, in a nice way. Because the website has a lot of tools for this, so we can create partnerships and groups through this English meeting website that I'm using for the school. So I think it'll be very good. So any last words, any, anything else you want to say before we say good night? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so talk nice to, to hear you all later. This. Okay, I'll talk have to you later. Night. Yes, have a good night. Thanks. I know for some of you it's very late, so have a good night. Yeah. And uh, I look forward yeah. to yeah. speaking yeah. to you yeah. again. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Good night. All That's right. Fun. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks. Thank you very. Thank you very much. Ah, you're welcome, Lucy. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nina, Joanne, and Mira, and Lara, and Olga, Kate, and Bahavna. It was great having all of you here, and I got to know a lot of you a lot better tonight for the first time, and uh, I look forward to uh, talking with you some more and helping you out some more. So have a good night and take care. Uh, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, Dave Sconda, EnglishMeeting.com, signing off. Good night.